One, would you recommend one tracking to improve at the game? Very good question. And yes, I would recommend one tracking or playing a small champion pool from one to three champion. You, you can't be saying that these are not paid actors. All of them. All right, let's see what we play here. We're playing against Fiddlesticks Victor. So they, they have two strong AP champions already. So in my head, I'm also thinking what champion can build some nice magic resist, you know? Because magic resist is already super good for me to itemize against enemy team. I'm gonna see four out of five champions. I'm hoping they pick top lane here because I have a Darius ban. So I guess that top laner is last picking. So we're most likely gonna have to blind pick. Wait. Yeah, okay. So they have Amumu Ashbot, Fiddlesticks Victor. I have multiple options here for blind picks. I'm thinking of maybe going something like Garen. It's very easy to build magic resist, very easy to play against their comp. They don't don't really have too many dashes right i'm thinking of garen he's not the best blind pick but he's very good to learn the fundamentals so i'm gonna go for garen right here there you go and we play flesh ignite right if this is a conqueror game i might try conqueror but i still think face rush in most cases is the best so i'll just prepare my face rush rune page i also need to get better with garen i feel like okay so we're gonna play against nasus you definitely take face rush against nasus and i'll explain why his w is a slow right his w is a very annoying slow to deal with but my face rush is uh completely nullifying slows so if you guys did not know face rush has built-in slow resistance so if you get slowed and you proc face rush you get 75 percent slow resistance but on on top of that, you also get the burst movement speed, so it's pretty much like having 100% slow resistance. Now, Face Rush won't allow me to punish the Nasus too much in the early game, however, with Ignite and with Ult, I will have punishment on it, and with Face Rush, I can make sure that I can always run away from him, so it's completely fine here. Let's open jungle. So we play against a Nasus without Flash, that's the first thing I noticed. Now, we have a Kha'Zix jungle without Flash, and they have an Amumu jungle. I would say both junglers kind of want to play to level 6, right? But Nasus is without Flash, that's one thing I'll definitely play towards. Hope you all are having a wonderful day thus far, guys. Today is the day you win your rank games. I'm still gonna go for D shoot. There's no reason to go any other item start on um, Garen, right? What do I think about Zektop? I think Zektop is situationally good. For example, I think Zektop can do very well against champions like Malvite, for example. Guys, I have to win this. Let's win. Let's win it. I have to read one thing about this ability. The nearest enemy takes so much damage. So last time I made a comment that if you spin your E, if you hit an isolated target, it deals extra damage, which is true because it's the nearest target. But the nearest enemy, let's say I'm spinning with my E, I didn't know it worked like that, so it's always the nearest enemy takes the most damage so you try to put your e always on top of your opponent right you're gonna look for a ward okay there's a nasus playing with fleet and ghost Let's see if we can cheese the nasus a little bit here Pop the face rush on the way very nice enemy john was pounding at the top my john was pounding at the top i have that information that's completely fine i'm going to see if i can zone this nasus a little bit from the wave because i'm still the stronger early game champion right even though garen is one of the weakest early game champions nasus is even weaker i can't really zone him from exp i don't have to just want to play for good csing here interesting e start by him He's gonna list all these minions. Only last thing. Okay, so he started E. My Kha'Zix went wrap up into topside, so this guy might be reverse clearing or looking for a super early gank or looking to invade enemy jungle. I'm not sure what my Kha'Zix is doing, but I'm gonna keep an eye on it to, to see if I can also optimize my plants around the plants of the Kha'Zix so that I can help him out if something were to happen, right? I'm gonna just slow push to see if I can make him lose more means in the meantime, right? He's losing all of these means, which is very, very nice. There we go, misses another one. Hopefully misses that one. There you go. He's still on 2CS. And right now this wave is actually pushing back into me, if you guys see, because of his E AoE, right? So now this wave is actually pushing back into me. Okay, so I see my Kha'Zix is invading. So this guy wants me to push. I'm not going to push, because I don't think I can really help out here. But perhaps I should have pushed. I had like if the Kha'Zix had picked me earlier that was going to invade, I would have definitely pushed so that I could be matching on this invade. But he should be fine. There we go. See, I was tracking my jungler though. I knew they they might have the plan. If he was making a plan in advance for me, I would have 100 percent moved with him. Oh, get to my auto. It's okay, this wave is pushing towards me. This guy has no flesh, so making the wave put towards me is very beneficial for me here. Because this forces this guy to walk up for last hits. And when he's forcing to walk up for last hit. Then he's very vulnerable to ganks, right? I'm gonna ping my Q, so my jungler waits. My jungler should wait for my Q. I'm gonna ignite. And there we go. Fundamentals, guys! No, 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 no. We do not push here. This wave is still pushing towards me. And I'm completely happy with that, because this next wave is arriving faster. And all I did here, guys, was play with my waves, right? I saw my jungle pathing. I saw that Nasus has no flesh. I made the wave push towards me because he had E start. And because the wave is pushing towards me, that forced the Nasus to walk up for last hits. And that why, that's why he was gankable. I didn't do anything else. I didn't do any good, good things mechanically. I was just tracking my jungle tracking. And I was playing with my waves, right? And I was using my Q whenever the Nasus was walking up for last hits. Use Ghost, use TP. I want 1100 on my first recall, if I can. I'm gonna use my W there. To block his Q damage. I'm going to start looking for priority because I want to look to set up my own reset here. 
There we go. Bro, this E animation is like so hard to see when I'm actually hitting them or when I'm not hitting them, I feel like. I have to get used to my ranges. So now I'm gonna start pushing this so that I can hard push next wave with level 5 and look to set up a recall. I'm not gonna use my abilities right here because I want my E on the next wave. And now my goal is to push this as fast as possible. But folks, the casters... I missed one spin on them. That sucks. I could even proxy one wave right here, and I will, to even give myself a bit more tempo here. I'm gonna proxy next wave. I'll also be able to get a long shot because I do this, and I have to make sure I use all my spins on the casters because it one-shots them like that. There you go. This is Garen Gaming. And one-shot the wave. Hit level 6. Time to recall. Now I lose nothing on the bounce. I actually don't end up getting my long shot, but that's still completely fine. My jungler is... I'm not gonna go here because I just want to recall. And you see this wave is bouncing into me right now. I'm not losing out on anything in the meantime. I can just walk back. I'm not gonna buy anything. And we are being chilling. Okay, so bot lane is kind of losing, but they're still a little bit up in CS. Mid lane is even, jungle is like even. This wave is bouncing into me. Could look for a kill again. No F on him. So, this wave is bouncing into me. He's trying to push it, but I'm gonna be back in time here. Scare, uh, this guy could be vulnerable again. I don't like how fast my jungler went for this. But it should be fine. There we go. Use my W for the third shot. Wave is pushing towards me. And there you go, guys. Again, fundamentals. Like, you see, like, I did not do anything in terms of mechanics this game. All I did was play well with my waves and play well with my jungler. Now, it's nice that I got the two ganks. But let's say my jungler didn't gank me. Still look at my CS gap, right? I haven't done anything special this game. But just play with my fundamentals. And, with, uh, and meaning my waves, my reset timers, and the jungle interaction, right? Those are the three core fundamentals that I always teach. It's reset timers, jungle interaction and wave manipulation and all those three things if you do them in harmony like i'm doing this game like i was saying i'm gonna slow push i'm gonna hard push i'm gonna proxy wave will bounce back into me nasus is forced to walk up my jungler stops and he gets punished there you go all fundamentals there you go six i don't care oh i have phasers buddy and my w you're not gonna do too much against me plus tier two boots all right so he's, he's very angry he's an angry fella it's good. We're in his head. We get level 7 here. You see he's very, very mad. I play for my level 7. Skill my ability instantly as well. There we go. 40 seconds and he's dead. Unless he trolls. Then I can maybe even kill him earlier. I'm gonna ignite for the Nimbus. And there we go. Nasus is angry. Now, this wave is pushing towards me, right? It is pushing towards me. However, I'm going to push it out to make the wave bounce back into me again. I will use my E here. This guy took my cannon. And I will hard push this wave as well. And then I'm not... I might... Uh, do I stay for the cannon? Do I stay for the plate? I don't think I stay for the plate. To make the wave bounce back into me again, I would want to recall ASAP. So I'm not going to lose my tempo right here. If I were to stay for the plate, I would lose my bounce timer, right? This is the next wave that is coming. If I recall right now, I don't get the plate. But it doesn't really drastically change my recall anyways. Because look, this is what I wanted to buy. I don't need the plate for any other item, right? I actually don't lose that on the plate. And now, you see, this wave is bouncing back into me again. And because it's bouncing back into me, I can still look to kill this Nasus. I'm, my flesh is coming back, my ult is still up, he does not have ult. So here, I skip the plate consciously to gain tempo on my recall, and now I can play on the bounce timer again. Very important to do this consistently, especially when you're ahead, because this makes the, your opponent have very, very awkward gameplay. So now I want this to push back into me again, because it forces him to walk up for last hits, right? And when he's forced to walk up for last hits, that's when he's vulnerable. And now I can just look to punish him. And I'll stop. I don't want this wave to push away from me. I still want this wave to push into me. Again, if the wave is pushing into me, he is vulnerable. If the wave pushes away from me, he is not vulnerable. If you play against Nasus, guys, all you have to do is play well with your waves. Because Nasus wants means to farm, right? And this wave is actually pushing away from me right now. Because I hit it a little bit too much, I reckon. Oh, he wants to go for the cannon. Okay, maybe not. Oh, slow push this wave. You see this wave is arriving now. He wants this cannon. There we go. Do a little bit of damage onto him. I want to try and deny him the cannon. Okay, he got it with his E, that's completely fine. Now I'm gonna push in this wave. I see my jungle is on the Herald, so I can also move if he needs my help. And I'm just gonna go for the plate and proxy next wave. I'm still expanding my lead. I don't need to kill this Nasus. I'm expanding my lead through plates, through waves, through jungle camps. There you go, this is not up. Okay, I know Amumu would, 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 most likely will not go here either because there's no camps for him. So why would he go here? I get the proxy and let's see, maybe we can get the Herald gold too. It gives me 100 gold if I sneak in here. Okay, never mind. And now I'm just gonna look for the plate. I don't think Amumu is here again because there's no camps. I have a pink here, pink here. So I'm just gonna look for plates. I don't need to kill this Nasus to expand my lead. I just need to make sure that I'm getting more resources than he is. So now I'm getting plates, plus I'm getting waves. And by default, I'm expanding my lead. There we go. We got one and a half plate. 
and I proxy this wave again. Now, after this proxy, I have two options. I could recall, or I could roam, or I guess I could also stay as a third option and look to get another plate, which is what I'll do, because look, I'm getting close to my item spike. I don't want to look for this. I don't want to look for this because I want to play in 1v1, you know? Because I'm getting third plates already in 1v1. I don't need my jungle to help me here. And there's the Victor. We should go on Victor. I don't like this. This is not a good play. We should not go for this. And I'm also not going to follow it. My bot lane is hard losing. They're 0 7. That's fine. You see all their, all their players are top set now. I see this guy's a stopwatch. You see, I see the fiddlestick top. The first thing I do is check his items. Ooh, good ultimate timing by him. Very good ultimate timing. Oh, he's ulting. Okay. He has a stopwatch. I'm not gonna go too deep. Because I have this information. He does have a... Yeah, see? He has a stopwatch. I was aware of this. He has a shutdown, though. So it's very worth my jungle to trade the kill. Oh, he's alive. With the ghost. What a beast. Are we all gonna be alive? I have Mythic in base. I shouldn't be risking anything here. I'm gonna get level 10 and 1 million, though. And the Victor has no idea that I'm here. Because Wave is pushing into me, but Nasus is going to TP. Oh, I have... I'm on a ward. There's a ward here. I know that. I have my W still. I'm gonna use my W right here. to cancel the CC very quickly. And now we're good. Okay, I baited my mid laner though, that's my bad, that's completely my bad. I just gotta recall very fast. I had my mythic anyways, that was a complete mistake for me to stay. I'm gonna buy sweeper because I'm super far ahead. I have healing with my passive, so I didn't need to stay full HP. I'm just gonna run back to top, look to still play for these plates before they drop. I have two minutes to progress onto them. We got the shutdown of this guy, and in the meantime, it looks like my Ezreal killed the Ash. I don't know how that happened. So we got most of the shutdowns. This guy flashed at here, so it's gonna be 16, 30, top, oh, or mid, sorry. That's the mid lane timer, he does not, oh he does have, no he doesn't have inspiration, so he can't have the rune where he's like short the cooldown. And now let's look to start expanding our lead, right? Our team is losing pretty much everywhere on the map, but I have a lead, so right now, if I play clean, I can still carry the game. We have the full turret here, see two people mid, Victor could come top, but it's completely fine. There we go, I let the Herald crash first, so I get full gold by myself. Maybe I can get for two turrets here even, that would be a banger. Okay, so we actually got two kills mid, there's here sadly. Okay, just gonna make sure this crashes. And now we're gonna play for John Camps to expand our lead. I know this guy has no flash. Two HP. Very unlucky. Okay, that sucks, but it's fine. I have a shotgun still, I need to make sure I don't lose mine. I'm gonna have it level 11. I have temp on top wave now, I'm gonna move mid. Victor is most likely gonna go for this mid wave, I'm gonna look to kill him. Let's see if my Aurelian Soul is looking. I wanna kill this guy. No flash. No, he's sadly already gone. Okay, no point to play, make your play here anymore. This is gone as well. I'm not gonna go to the dragon because we have numbers disadvantage because my Kha'Zix is dead. I'm not even going to bother moving here. But I'm going to try and look for one more play on this mid lane because my Aurelian has ult and his Victor has no flash. If Aurelian ults, he's dead. There we go. We get the kill. Beautiful. I'm almost also 1 HP. Okay, he flashed. I know his flash timer now as well. So I have this, and then I do 1840 jungle. Oh, we kill him too. Beautiful. This wave is pushing towards me, so that I don't have to be there instantly. This Fiddle 6 is still level 6. I'm just gonna go for the wrap up though. This Fiddle 6 was top level 6 like 4 minutes ago as well. Crazy, he's not really been getting any extra XP. We're still not dying. We're playing clean. We have flash timers. These are the flash timers we have. Good. I'm gonna. I have wrap up now. I have Stride Breaker. I'm gonna look to kill this Nessus. I wanna wait with using my face rush until he W's me. Now he W's me, I'm gonna go face first so the W goes away. See if I can bait out this ult maybe. Okay. Okay, he just gave up, good. And now I'm gonna push this, push this, and push this wave. And then maybe look for the turret. I'm gonna get my ult back as well. I am very close to an item spike though, so I might not want to overstay here because look at my shutdown. It's a very big shutdown, right? So if enemy team moves to me, I'm not going to overstay. I'm not sure what enemy team is going to do, but we'll find out. Since they have a fat Victor, Amumu, and Fiddlesticks, I'm going to be building this item second. I'm just gonna quickly build MR because I don't really need armor against these two champions. Okay, I wanna play for this if I can. I think I can right here. Fiddlesticks uses ult. Oh no, I'm always really doing. Okay. Should be able to get this. Garen is pretty fast at pushing turrets. Proxy next wave too. Then Rico and look to start roaming across the map. I don't need to kill this Nasus to win this game. You know, this Nasus already won on six. I don't need to kill him, but... Yeah, if he does this, then... Mental gap. All right, we're mental gapping him. All right. I mean, he's given up. That's good. I'm going to expand bot lane. Look, five and two, three, one. Killing the one and seven Nasus will not change the outcome of this game, okay? It's very important at this point in the game to recognize win condition. What is my win condition? Well, it's not killing the Nasus. It's killing this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, because they're all ahead of my teammates, right? I have a two and 10 bot lane. So right now I need to start using my lead, look at my items, to shut down these players. That's my goal now. And there we go. What's up? Use my W at the correct time. 
And you are dead, my guy. It's gonna take me a second, but... I just die. Thank you. And now I'm going to stay bot. I don't want to go to mid. I don't want to go to air on lane. I'm st Oh, I don't have my ult now. Okay, I'm not gonna move there. I should be bot, not this Ezreal. You should go away. You should go mid. Go mid. I will tell him to go mid. This is my side lane. I am claiming my side lane. I don't care about this Ezreal. I know where I'm supposed to be on the map. Okay, if this guy stays, then I'll just go mid. And then he goes mid as well. Like, please. It sucks. We just push one more away for the Ezreal here. Realistically, my Aurelian Souls would go top. He's doing that. My Ezreal should be mid. I can do one more thing and I can just start proxying, I guess. At least I'm zoning the Ash away from resources. So I guess we'll get bot tier one. It's fine. I would prefer to be here on my own and my Ezreal being mid. That would make a lot more sense, but it's fine. Outcome still the same. We get the turret right here, and we're zoning Ash from resources. I have to be careful of Fiddlesticks ult. There's the Fiddlesticks. My Astral might die. I'm not going to help him out. I don't care about the Astral. All my team are in, teammates are in things. Somehow the 1 in 6 Nasus killed them. Oh, this is really bad. I know it's Zonia's time to run. I have phasers and a lot of movement speed, so I can get out. But my teammates are really, really inting. It's fine though. Nothing we can't beat. I'm gonna recall right now because this guy got a full turret and he somehow got a solo kill on my Aurelian Soul. All my teammates are really trying to lose this game at the moment. But it's fine. We can still win. We just gotta make sure that we don't make mistakes. This dragon, it's third dragon. It's that win condition. So I wanna go for the dragon here. Oh, they're already on it. We need to go here. We need to go here, team. Where's my team? Sadly, they got it. Okay, at least my teammates get some kills, but they do have a win condition now, which is the Nashus, which is the soul. My team is just not really focused, and they keep trying to take my resources too. It's like my teammates are inting, and they want to stop me from winning the game for them as well. It's like everything that you could have wrong is going on in my game right now, guys. So keep that in mind. It doesn't only happen in your games, it happens in my games too. But I need to stay mental, resilient, and still try and carry this game. I have my three items now. I have resistance against all of the champions. Now I'm going to start probably building cleavers. This guy's tanky, this guy's armor, this guy's gonna build armor. So cleaver's probably very good for me here. So I get some more kill pressure on side wave. I'm super, super fast. I was a little bit too slow though there, sadly. Good, I gave my kill team some more kills, that's always good. I don't even want to be top, because there's no top tier 2 turret here, but my Ezreal keeps going bot, so it's very hard for me to go to bot. This Ezreal is always trolling the side waves, I need to move here. If we if we win a fight here, we get Nash. So this is a very good skirmish to get, however, this guy is trolling again. Oh no. Well played by him. Wow. I mean, that's just super well played. I got completely outplayed there. I played by the victor. What do you want me to do, buddy? What do you want me to do? Why am I getting pinged and why am I getting flamed? Next dragon is their win condition. We need to make sure they can't get that. So I'm going to try and really preserve my flesh so that I can get a kill before this dragon spawns. So that, like, at least it can be a 4v5. Maybe my team dies too, but maybe I can get a pick as well. I'm gonna recall because else Nasus gets a tier 2 top lane turret. And now Ash healed at least. I want to play for this, but I just simply can't. My team is too weak and I'm scared of them maybe dying. Enemy team getting Nash. So I'm just gonna help out my team get pressure across the rest of the map. I'm not going to play for myself in side lane. I'm going to look to help out my team. Okay, this is very nice. Now we can look to play here. Victor is bot. We should play here. I can one shot the Armumu. We're here with five now. But you gotta be scared of the Fiddlesticks ult. Beautiful. I should just zone him away so that they can't play for Nash. There we go. There we go, run away, run away, we're getting the Nash still, 2k, 2k, we should be getting this, please don't get outsmited, thank you, now we need to play for Dragon, this is our next objective, very good that I opened up the top here, we got the Nash, okay yeah, beautiful, we can carry this game guys, we can carry this game, you see I have zero deaths, I keep trying to play as clean as I can, my entire team is running down the entire game, they have 3 dragons, they have everything, but I'm playing clean, okay, I'm gonna get priority on bot lane, now don't I mid, I want to play for 16 and I want to push a bot wave, oh, yeah, W ability is kind of annoying to deal with, huh? You can push up this wave as well. 45 seconds for Dragon. I'm level 16 now. I can really look to one-shot anybody. And now we group up. I'm just gonna group up with my team. Oh, please don't be dying. 
What are you doing? You have one job, Ezreal! I say don't die me! Don't! Okay, one for one, one for one, one for one. This guy is Seraph, so I can't look to one-shot him, sadly. I'm gonna not chase after him. I just wanna play for the dragon. I don't wanna use any resources. I need to play for this dragon. We need to play for dragon, guys! We cannot be giving them the soul. Come on! Oh, please, teammates! Please! I am the only one right here. Come on, we need to get this dragon. That's our win condition. Tells me that they're most likely are not going to contest this. It's the Nasus. Guys, guys, they are trying their best to lose, right? You, you can't be saying that these are not paid actors. All of them! Need this wave to get Cleaver, and then we need to recall on the Fento. Okay, we're gonna stop this guy from getting the tier 2. Okay, my team actually wanna fight without me. I mean, this guy will just outrun me. Nothing I can do about it. I'm really in soul scaling. Ezreal somewhat... I mean, my... He's three biscuits as well. Like, he's keeping his biscuit instead of playing cards. I love my support. We can play for this. We still have a little bit of Nash left. We are four items, and nobody else is even close to that. The problem is I have to care of the sideways always against the Nasus, and I also need to make sure my team is not dying at the other side, you know? And recall again, defend bot lane side wave. What's my last item going to be here? I don't know for a QSS item, maybe, unironically. I think QSS is so valuable against them. I thought maybe it's kind of troll as well. This guy's Hole Breaker. It should be dead, bro. Ignite for movement speed. There we go. Dead. Now we can finally push bot. Don't die mid. Please. One time, don't die mid. One time, please. So I can push bot lane, finally. This guy's no flash. Use my W for that. So I can just walk out of it. In case you guys didn't know, my W gives me... I have silence. Right here. Yes! Get out of my way. Now we can end, right? Is this enough? Is this enough to end? I have my wrap of healing. I'm gonna wait for passive plus wrap up. Passive plus wrap up healing. Okay, it's gonna start double ticking now. I'm gonna get like, what, plus 50 every tick? There we go. 110. No worries. It's because of this dragon too. There we go. Look how fast I'm healing. Is it enough to end? Use my W to cancel the silence. Okay, we're gonna tank here. We're gonna tank. Uh, I'm not sure. We have a new wave. I think it's enough, guys. I think it's enough. Whoo! Zero mistakes! Zero deaths! Four losing teammates. And we carried. We carried. Because I kept mental, I kept making good decisions, I never got impatient. Every time my teammates made mistakes, I didn't get emotional, I didn't do random decisions. I just kept persistent, clean. We ended up winning the game. What, would you recommend one tracking to improve at the game? Very good question. And yes, I would recommend one tracking or playing a small champion pool from one to three champions. Yeah.